Hey guys, this is Cheney180, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive Dark Phoenix 2-pack. Uh, I was very excited to get this set, and I must say, uh, it didn't disappoint. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I've got a couple complaints here and there, but for the most part, I enjoy it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Dark Phoenix right now. <clears throat> Now, as you can see, the paint and everything on the face came out nice. You know, the symbol looks good. And with that marble, marble plastic there. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there is some shading on the front of the chest there to kind of make it darker. What I really dig about it is you can see that the pupils are yellow and the eyes are orange. It's got that thick, uh, what is that? I want to say mascara I don't know I don't know makeup so but as you can see there's some paint here on the top of the hair and the hair is semi translucent so you can get some light behind it <clears throat> uh, I must say though I'm not a huge fan of the way the hair was sculpted like over the face but it's not it, you know it's not bugging me overall and then we do get this little Phoenix logo here Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories of the figure, and then we'll get into articulation. Now she comes with this translucent phoenix flame effect, and just kind of like, you just put it on her arm there, put her arm through it. I don't really know if I'll be utilizing this all that much, but, you know, it's cool to get some kind of accessory. It looks neat. And then you get uh, the same head sculpt here. And, uh... Just with a different paint scheme, the non-translucent hair. But you do get a decent wash in there with the hair. Fairly decent paint job. And, you know, the good thing about it is the hair is fairly soft, so you can pull it back a little bit if need be to kind of look at it. I like the other head better, though. <clears throat> and then we get a third head. And this is more of like a mellow, jean gray kind of head here. And I want to say that they gave this gave this to us to uh, put on the Phoenix figure from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure wave just because that head was so horrible. But as you can see, everything looks pretty good here. Uh, I enjoy it. Again, we've got the wash here. Everything looks good. And now we have Cyclops. And this figure came out really well. We got that nice belt buckle there. It's a new belt, I think, that we were getting with him. Uh, unfortunately, we still have these two-fingered, you know, uh, optic blast fingers, which is getting kind of old. It would have been nice to maybe lose this head in exchange for a pair of hands to swap out, but whatever. And as you can tell, he's on the Bucky Cat body. It looks like we got a new sculpt in the head here, so that's pretty cool. And everything else has just been reused. I think we got the new belt and we got a new head here. So, pretty decent. So, articulation on the Dark Phoenix. I believe this is the same body that they used for like Hellcat and whatnot. <clears throat> so, the head is hinged, but you can only get it back about that far. That's, that's as much as you're going to get out of it. You can go down pretty far. And then you can turn from side to side fairly decently, so that's good. Arms go up about that far. We get all the way around. Those lovely single hinge elbows that we all love. A swivel at the wrist with a hinge. You get this upper torso, which goes back about that far. And forward about that far. You can pivot it from side to side if need be and turn it, so that's good. Uh, no waist articulation. The belt does float around so you can move it around however you like. Legs go up pretty far. Back about that far. You get a thigh rotation. Double hinge knee. Ankle joint. Or ankle hinge. And an ankle pivot. So, pretty nice. Uh, at first I wasn't sure that they were going to go with this body for this figure. I thought they were going to do the same body. But it turns out they went with a, same, a different body for the Dark Phoenix figure. And we don't get the heels, which makes it a little bit easier for her to stand, you would think. But this hair is pretty heavy. If I can get it to stand. I've noticed that's been an issue. 
let's kind of prop her up right there for now. And then Cyclops. Uh, if you're familiar with the Bucky Cat body, you know that we've got a hinge in the head, which he can look up nicely, look down good. No real pivot there, but he turns from left to right. Arms go up yay far, all the way around. Forgot to mention, we do get this kind of dry brushing effect here. So we have the lighter tones of blue on here. It's not just a flat blue. You got a bicep swivel, double hinge elbow, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Ab crunch goes down that far, goes back that far, waist swivel, legs go up that far, go back that far, thigh swivel, double hinge knee, boot cut, hinge at the ankle, and the ankle pivot. <clears throat> now this is cool that we get this classic Cyclops. Uh, all we really need really badly now is a classic Storm to round out our uh, giant size X-Men roster. And maybe a tiger stripe wolverine. Now what's cool is you can bring this in and this head pops right on. And it looks really, really nice. I really like that. I really like how they made that easy to swap out for us. And they didn't give us a uh, different size peg. You could go with this one too if you want. And they obviously swap out on this one as well. So, all in all, um, if you're big, as big an X-Men fan as I am, I would definitely recommend buying this set. It's definitely worth it. Wow, this thing is pretty hard to stand. Did we get it yet? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. We got it. <clears throat> no, we didn't. It just fell over. So let's do a little size comparison here. Everything's falling over. Never mind that. So we got Wolverine here, as you can tell, he's shorter like he should be. Throw in another Cyclops. You know, Bucky Cat mold, so. You know, the size looks good. I like the flat feet. Uh, I really dig the figure. I like, you know, obviously the Dark Phoenix head a little bit better. As you can see. So that pretty much wraps it up for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I took a little time off. I'm back at it again now. So uh, keep an eye out for more reviews. I've got uh, Black Panther that just came in yesterday. I've got Storm Collectibles and Bison on the way. So stay tuned for those. And uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to click like, subscribe, and take it easy.